It's a scandal involving abandoned surrogate babies, a secret marriage, lucrative endorsement deals and even loan sharks. At the center of it is popular Chinese actress Xing Shuang, aged 32. Xing Shuang, born in Shenyang in 1991, displayed artistic talent from a young age, excelling in piano, flute, and dance. At 16, she became the youngest student ever accepted into the Beijing Film Academy's acting department. Her debut in the 2009 Chinese remake of Meteor Garden brought her immense fame. Ching continued her successful career with roles in various films and TV dramas, earning awards such as Best New Actress at the Hong Kong Film Directors Guild Award in 2011. She starred in popular series like Love 020 in 2016 and was recognized in Forbes China's 30 Under 30 Asia 2017 list. Despite her success, her involvement in the 2020 spy drama Secret Keepers was halted due to issues with a co-actor being blacklisted by state regulators. In May 2018, Xing Shuang and producer Zhang Heng met while working on a show called This Is Fighting Robots. They admitted they were dating in August and even started a company together. They shared pictures as a couple and were seen together in public a lot. They got married in America in January 2019 and had a son and a daughter through surrogates in December 2019 and January 2020. But in October, just before the kids were born, they split up and officially divorced. Xing Shuang went back to China, leaving Zhang Heng to take care of their children alone. Their breakup was messy. They broke up because they were both seeing other people. Xing Shuang even showed pictures of women she said were with Zhang Heng. One of Zhang Heng's friends spoke up, saying Jing cheated on him first. She apparently told him it was for his own good and called herself a vessel that attracts gold, saying Zhang Heng needed to be of more value. A few weeks after returning to China, Xing Shuang was seen at a law firm in Shanghai, getting ready to sue Zhang Heng for using her name to borrow money at high interest rates. This happened after she sold off some things he gave her during their relationship. A year later, Zhang Heng dropped a bomb no one saw coming. In January 2021, he went on Weibo to explain why he had been abroad for a long time and to respond to accusations that he was a scammer who had taken people's money and fled to the USA. He revealed that he had been taking care of his two children, born to two different women in the U.S. in December 2019 and January 2020. Surprisingly, Xing Shuang was listed as their mother, even though she was never seen visibly pregnant. A leaked tape online seemed to confirm the use of surrogates, where Xing expressed frustration that it was too late to terminate the pregnancies. Xing allegedly exclaimed, The children really cannot be aborted. I am annoyed to death. In the recording, her father suggested abandoning the children at the hospital, but was told it was illegal. This caused a lot of anger, with many calling Jing cruel and an irresponsible mother. Within days, state media and China's ruling Communist Party criticized Jing. State broadcaster CCTV strongly stated that surrogacy and abandoning children were against social morals and public order. The Communist Party's top commission accused Xing of exploiting legal loopholes by using surrogate mothers in the U.S., calling her actions unlawful. Although surrogacy is illegal in China, they couldn't arrest her because she did it overseas. Xing later wrote on Weibo saying, This is a very sad and private matter for me. She did not directly address allegations over the surrogacy dispute, but said she did not violate the state's instructions while on Chinese soil and respected all laws and regulations while abroad. In the same week, a fertility clinic in the U.S. claimed that Jing Shuang owed them 68,000 U.S. dollars in overdue fees. She is reported to have committed to a 168,000 U.S. dollar package, which should have been paid in full after the children were born. They added that the kids are in good health and there is no reason for her to not pay up. Instead of settling her debts, they claimed she contacted them to request that they raise her children. They rejected her offer of 30,000 yuan a month to bring up the kids and said that she was adamant about not acknowledging them and that she does not want them to step onto Chinese soil. The director of the clinic claimed that Jing Shuang decided in the seventh month of pregnancy that she didn't want the children anymore and requested that the surrogate mothers terminate the pregnancies immediately. The staff refused, saying that it was too late in the pregnancy to abort the babies. On the other hand, the director praised Zhang Heng for being responsible and for taking care of the children even though he may not want to be a father. After the scandal, Xing Shuang faced harsh criticism from fans and authorities. Fans quickly stopped supporting her, leading to the closure of her fan clubs. 
China's National Radio and Television Administration, NRTA, strongly condemned Zhang's actions, accusing her of breaking the law by going overseas for surrogacy and then trying to abandon her babies. The NRTA stated that actors like her lacked moral character and announced they would not allow people involved in such scandals to appear on TV again. This had serious consequences for Zhang. Many big brands like Prada, Lola Rose, Kyachur, and Aussie cut ties with her. Magazines like Modern Weekly and the Chinese version of Harper's Bazaar removed their posts promoting her. All her ongoing entertainment projects were cancelled, and producers confirmed they wouldn't work with her in the future. Awards she had won at the 13th and 19th Huading Awards were taken back. On February 20, Meituan Waimai, a Chinese shopping platform, marked Xing Shuang as a sensitive term. People couldn't use her name to order food, but funny enough there are more than 7,000 people in China with the same name. In April 2021 she made headlines again when Zhang Heng reported her to authorities for evading her taxes. The authorities investigated the matter and in August she was found guilty. Investigations showed that she was paid 156 million yuan for acting in 2019 series A Chinese Ghost Story, of which she only declared 48 million. It wasn't the only instance in which she made use of Yin Yang contracts. Yin and Yang contracts are duplicate contracts where a lower sum is reported on the one sent to the tax bureau and the rest of the payment appears on another. These are the same contracts that landed Fan Bingbing in trouble. According to reports, Jing Shuang was also found to have underdeclared 191 million yuan in income from 2019 to 2020. As a result, the actress managed to evade 45.27 million yuan in income taxes, along with 26.52 million yuan in other taxes. The Shanghai Taxation Bureau confirmed Ching Shuang's 299 million yuan fine, adding that they have a zero-tolerance policy against stars who lack ethics. As a thank you for being one of the whistleblowers, Zhang Hun was fined 32.27 million yuan for assisting Jing in avoiding paying tax since he was her manager at the time of the crime. In July 2021, after six months of staying away from social media, Jing Shuang posted on the internet. She talked about her tough life in America, where she had gone to escape problems in China. She said sorry for the surrogacy issue and denied Zhang Heng's claim that she earned a lot from her show and avoided taxes. Two days later, she wrote another long post on Weibo. She said her family's bank accounts were frozen, so she couldn't earn money. She can't work in the US and depends on friends to survive. She said she lives very frugally, even drinking tap water and owning just a few clothes. If it makes you feel any better, I can tell you that I drink tap water every day to survive, I own a total of five t-shirts and two pairs of jeans, and I have never ordered delivery," she wrote. She mentioned struggling to buy basic things like sanitary napkins and toilet paper. When she craved Chinese food, she made simple meals with eggs and saved money to buy things for her kids. She said she'd focus on her children and parenting classes and wouldn't talk about the issue anymore. As of 2023, Jing Shuang is still banned from working, and there's no chance she'll return. She and Zhang Heng have been arguing online, each trying to prove the other wrong to get custody of their two kids. Zhang Heng spoke to an American news outlet in January, repeating what he said before. He claimed their kids were hurt badly while staying with Jing Shuang. He showed pictures of his daughter's stitched finger and his son's injured nose. Zhang Heng said his son was scared and didn't want to stay with his mom. He said his son told him that their mom hurt them. Jing Shuang's lawyer responded, saying she never harmed her kids. They said the court ruled in March 2022 that Jing Shuang could spend more time with her kids, even overnight every week. The court also said Zhang Heng couldn't take the children to China. Jing Shuang's lawyer accused Zhang Heng of lying because he lost in court, and now he's trying to win in the public eye. In September 2023, Xing Shuang faced more legal trouble when a court ruled she must return 30.5 million yuan plus interest to an investor. The investor had paid Zhang's company for a TV series, but due to Zhang's scandal, the show couldn't be broadcast. Zhang was also ordered to pay the investor an additional 60 million yuan in compensation. Zhang had appealed the decision, but the court upheld the ruling. Clearly when it rains it pours. Do you think she will ever make a comeback or is her career over? Let me know down in the comments.